Hello everyone, how are you? Today, I wanted to make a scene from GTA 6 trailer. I loved it. But of course, I'm gonna do it in my own style. As always, I'm gonna use characters from Mixamo. So I wanted to find a woman similar like Lucia. Don't forget to convert the rig to the control rig because it's way more easy to work with it. If you have watched my other videos, you won't be surprised that I'm going to place lights already because I always prefer to see some quick results. There is a powerful and bright sunlight in the original scene, and I need to give the same feeling in Blender. It's going to be a little bit hard because they made that trailer in their game engine. But it's not impossible, of course. I need to understand the sizes of the double door and the shop's width, so I'm going to use basic shapes for walls and doors for now. Now we need other character and again, we're going to find him from the Mixamo. I really love this service. Because of the copyrights and other stuff, I don't want to show original scene, but you've already watched the trailer hundreds of times. So I'm preparing the poses same like original characters. He is taller than the Lucia, and I need to make some more small adjustments for their poses. Now we are going to Sketchfab to find those two cars in front of the shop. I'm hoping to find the shop from Sketchfab as well. I loved this one. I know it's not the same car in the trailer, but it's very close to it, and I don't have any more options to select. As always, I'm using GLTF file format for my scene because it's the most easy way to import a model to the scene with textures. I also found a perfect shop interior. It's already made in GTA style, and it looks very similar to the shop and trailer. I'm lucky today. Now doors are open, and I need to prepare the character's poses same with original one. I already liked the overall lighting and pose. What do you think? I'm using HDR image from polyhaven.com, and now we're going to have more natural shadows and lights. I'm trying small adjustments for the lights because it's extremely important to give same feeling with lights and shadows. In our case, the sun is at the right corner and inside of the shop has very low light. I tried this tree group, but I didn't like it at all, and I'm going to delete it in a couple of minutes. I'm preparing the cars in same sizes and positions like original ones. I wish I could use same car models, but I just could find these ones.
I just need a small hill landscape and one tree model. That's all. Because we can't see the background clearly in the original scene, there is a very bright sunlight out there. The sunlight is not enough itself, so I need a volumetric scatter for the outside. Fog is looking great. Now I can design similar stickers on the doors. It's time to work with Photoshop. I'm going to use my own face for the black and white photo on the door. Actually, I was planning to prepare the voiceover with my own voice and camera, but it's too late here and everyone is sleeping. I don't like to disturb people. I'm using Midjourney for some images like this hand illustration. Now I need palm trees image for the poster on the door. Okay, all stickers are ready. Now I need to save it as PNG and import it to Blender. I'm just gonna place them onto the glass. You can use single texture for a couple of textures like this one. Okay, 
Now we have all stickers on the doors. It's time to open the car's door. There is dirty window at the top, so I can easily prepare similar one with mid-journey. I want to make their clothing same as possible as I can. Now I can prepare bandana textures from mid-journey. After I prepared bandana textures, I can now use Sculpt Tool to sculpt any kind of object you want. Okay, we have bandanas too. Lights are good too. Now I need to find toy gun. I don't want to use real gun model because I don't like guns and I just wanted to use some kind of water gun. Now everything is looking great, and I can take render. After that, we're gonna work on Photoshop. They look healthy and strong.
I'm just making very small adjustments. Okay, I'm almost done with the color correction. That was so exacting project. I loved the GTA 6 trailer, and I can't wait until 2025. Thank you for watching, people. See you on next video.